Okay, we are playing a game called Power Play 2. I'm going to also review it. And this game is so rare that you would um, have a hard time getting it on eBay unless you really wanted to pay a whole bunch for it. And I don't know exactly why they did that. They had a low production value of this game. And um, so what we're doing now, you can select what stage you can go to, I guess. And so I guess what I'll do is I'll go to the first stage, okay? Because the first is always easy. That's right. So this game is pretty, uh, one of those unusual games that I really um, kind of enjoy. What you can do here is um, you try and get these bad guys, and it kind of resembles a Batman, you know, for the regular Nintendo as well. I really like it. It's super rare. Um, I've got this game when I uh, worked at a video store a long, long time ago, and so um, I just bought it when I saw it, and it was pretty awesome. Now here, hmm. Not really sure what to do there. I cannot. Oh, okay. You can slide kind of like Mega Man, huh? Kind of cool. What do you think of this so far, Emma? Well, it looks like someone would have a hard time. Someone would have a hard time if they're not good with platformers. That's right. I got it, though. Now, here we go into this first level. We're getting deep into this fortress thing here. Oh, no! And then I, um, of course, got hit on a spike or something. You should, like, uh, bend down. That's right. Well, that's what I'll think I'll do next time here. Next time? Anyway, um, as far as the production values are concerned, I do not know why they chose to put, um, make so little of this game, because it's such an entertaining game, and uh, it was kind of cool that I was able to get it. It's so rare. I've never seen a copy in the wild, except for the one that I picked up. So, um, now here we go onto this part here, and... Uh, what you can do here, I think, is just, yeah, go by those spikes, see? Okay? Now, we go like this. Oh, no! Holy cow, did you see that? Oh, and then there are spikes up there that I um, chose not to avoid some way or another. So, anyway, it looks like I'm at Area 1-7, because there's some, uh, some of these things that... You mean 17... One seven is seventeen. Well, I guess what I meant was area one dash seven. Kind of like in Super Mario Brothers, where they have one dash two and all that other stuff. And like, it, and like my like game that I can't get past on that volcano. The volcano! Oh my goodness, that's right. That volcano always oh, went off. Holy cow, I don't know what exactly to do there. So anyway, the controls on this game seem to be really good. Um, it gets really hard, though. So, uh, game over. That's, yes, that's going to be enough for now. But um, stay tuned, and we're going to have a um, review of Castlevania. Now, that is a classic game. Talk to you later.